Hey guys, happy Mother's Day by the way to all the mothers in the world. Because of the quarantine, we needed to spend less time in travels to our warehouse so we can do shipments. And for that, we decided to get some of the uh, small portions of the shipments, but of all the selections, back to home. So at home, I needed to create some kind of a setup where different designs will be separated. So I created a rack. So we, this is a do-it-yourself uh, rack, a holding rack for different, um, different designs, for different products of ours. Daniel has been an amazing help. So this young CEO, now seven years old, uh, has been cutting, putting it together. Um, and uh, by the way, he also, while we waiting for all the products to come in, Meanwhile, he made a little bit of a bed for uh, his bunny. So let me show you how this is done. Um, I've um, gotten the half an inch pipe. I've gotten the these corners, these corners connectors, these connectors, and those are three connectors that are involved and um, a whole bunch of uh, 10 feet pipes. We've been cutting and piecing them together. So now everything is, yeah, it's, it's though it's moving, right? So it's all, kind of moving but it's very sturdy because it's holding all of these boxes with um, with about 10 of the products in them so there's about I don't know almost 50 60 pounds in there and this thing is holding um, it's, it's awesome and it's gonna get a lot more so we're gonna be looking at a couple of hundred pounds in here and I suspect it's gonna hold meanwhile we have a leftover pipe and um, Daniel here's my young CEO Daniel said that he wants to have some kind of a flute. This is a half an inch thin wall PVC pipe. We're gonna take 16 inches and then another two inches piece. Before I cut it off, I'm gonna split it. I have. Let's not forget about safety glasses. Dremel and let's polish the edges. Let's measure out two and a quarter from the edge, two and a quarter, one inch right here, quarter inch here. So we have her. This is a quarter, and right here, one inch, that's a half an inch, one inch, there you go, one inch, and a quarter inch, there you go. We're gonna cut the hole in here right now. Back to power tools. We cut it sideways, and the rest we're gonna polish out. Now that we have our air chamber right here, right? So I, we need to create a plug to fit right here. I think what's gonna be perfect for this is the cork from the wine bottle. I guess I'm drinking white to, wine tonight. <laughs> for that, we need to have a bottle of wine and a vial, bottle of wine opener. Where is the a little tongue to start opening these things. All right, let's put this for. There you go. There you go. Let's do this. Let's get our plug. It's a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna have to file it off a little bit. Now that we cut off half an inch off of this cork, this is what we're gonna be working with 
and this is gonna go back into that wine bottle that's gonna be waiting for me till this evening. Okay, this is gonna get pushed like somewhere in here. Way in. Remember what we uh, took this one and we cut it in half like this? All right, so this is what we have. The cork is right there. The air hole is right here. This thing is right here. Let's give it a first try. And I'm gonna give the test drive to Daniel. Hopefully it works. It's working! Okay, so what we need to do next are make whole extra holes here. How are we gonna put these holes in here? All right, so we are going to do next. We have a 16 inch pipe, right? We are going to measure four inches from the end four inches from the end and then from here I'm gonna do one thumb with actually Daniel's thumb because this is gonna be his uh, his his flute he's gonna have his thumb separated for each hole putting together six holes all right so now I'm gonna make holes in this flute I don't have a drill here with me so I'm gonna improvise by using screws Kids, did you know that once you do this a lot of times back and forth, this becomes very, very hot? And why? Because it's friction, all right? So you can even take your hands, do like this, and your, your, your hands get really, really, really hot. It's because of friction. And that's how you actually can start fire. And that's um, when, when you take two sticks together, and you rub them together, they get very hot, and, and wood ignites. All right, so now that we've uh, made the holes with, uh, with screws, that to imitate the drill, now I have to file that down. I'm gonna re go back to the help of my good friend, Dremel, and file this off. All the axes. So it's not perfect, but it's good. All right, so now we have a homemade flute, which um, I think is going to be close to the Native American sound style. Um, so. Let's uh, give it a try. Daniel's gonna be my test driver again. Okay, so we're gonna be testing this thing. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> Works! It Great! Worked. 